Hey guys, my name is Samu and you are watching Technorite. What's going on guys, welcome Technorite Technology is done right. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you on how to make all of your games appear on one particular software. So basically, if you have your Steam games, you have your Origin games, you have your Epic games, you have multiple launchers and you want a software that can bring all of the games together. So uh, once you launch the program, you have all the games just there and you don't have to go into each individual software. So basically today we are the software we are going to be using is GOG Galaxy. So just go into Google. All the link will be in the description below. Okay. Search GOG Galaxy and you have it here. Okay. This is the first link, GOG Galaxy 2.0. Okay. So once you do that, click on download and then let it load and you install it as usual okay like normal so once it's downloaded and installed you'll have something like this okay and you need to create an account guys so when you open the GOG Galaxy you'll have an option to create account click on that and create the account okay so once you have created the account you're going to log in to your GOG Galaxy so I'm going to do that right now I'm going to log in it says launching okay so basically you can see here that this is the uh, galaxy thing okay so this is the software guys okay so what you're going to do to add your games is you're going to go here and you can see it says add games and friends okay click on that and click on connect platforms okay so once you click on here you'll have all these options, Epic Game Store, Origin, PlayStation Network, Steam, Uplay, and a lot more. So you can see here that uh, Blizzard Battle.net is missing, okay? So I'm going to teach you on how to add um, games from Battle.net as well. So for now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on connect your Steam, okay? Um, it should take a while for you because uh, it will say that it's downloading. So just give it time and eventually you'll get this. Okay. Then you click, then you click on connect. Then you can see here, it says login with your steam account below to access your steam games. Okay. So I'm going to use to log in into my steam, put my steam credentials into here. Continue. Okay. It, prompts for the steam guard code which i will get in my email x9 x5 k okay so you can see it says connected okay so now you're going to go into origin and click on connect again and click on connect here it says login to origin so you're going to have your origin here pop up and you're going to log in into that as well oh it says we are sorry but we're having some technical so if you put your password it should work guys currently origin having some technical difficulties so you're just going to leave that then you're going to click on epic game store okay connect to that Okay, I'm going to sign it with Google. Okay, so Epic Games is verifying. 
okay guys so this um you can see only origin is not working because they have some maintenance issue i think so uh this worked before so um just give it some time if it doesn't work and try it again later okay so now once you have everything connected you're going to close this okay and then you're going to go into your own games and you can see all your games will already appear okay so i have a ton of games here you can go into installed and you can see what are, what are the games that is installed okay and then if you go into you play your steam and your epic you can see what are the games uh, which are offered by the launchers okay so when you go into your own games you hover on a game you can see that it says epic right here okay so this indicates that it's from the epic game store okay so if i go into a steam game you can see you have the steam logo so uh, this launcher makes it very very simple for us to like um, manage our games guys so yeah it's pretty awesome okay so now i'm going to teach you on how to add games uh, which are not in built like battle.net games okay so what you're going to do is you're going to go back to recent okay then you can see here it says add games again click on that and click on add game manually okay click on that now it asks to search a game okay so the game i'm going to be adding is overwatch so i'm going to search overwatch and you can see it popped up okay so i'm going to i have the normal version so i'm just going to click on overwatch the first one and you can see it's here okay so now what you're going to do is you're going to click on mark as owned okay and this mark as owned will change into link executable okay so you're going to click on that and now you're going to go into the place where overwatch uh, launcher the application launcher is so i'm going to my games going into overwatch right here then you can see it says overwatch launcher okay click on open and you can see it says play so now if i go into my installed games you can see overwatch appears here so when i click on it i can click on play and the game will start okay so i'm going to do another game for you guys so i'm going to click on add games i'm going to go get add game manually this time okay this time i'm going to add in call of duty warzone Okay, that's okay. Yep. Okay, you can see here it says the game. Click on that. It should appear here. Call of Duty Warzone. Click on Mark as Owned. Click on Link Executable and go into the game. You can see here I have the game here. Click on the launcher. Click Open and done. Okay, so you can click on Play. So now if I go into my install games, you can see Call of Duty Warzone here. So basically that's about it guys it's very simple and you can access all of your games right here okay so if you have any other questions or any other problems please put them in the comments below i think that's about it so please rate comment and subscribe and i'm out